Welcome to the MTD Technical Corner. Today we have a real treat. We're going to be demonstrating the Freedom Arm and Freedom Indexing Table from LK Metrology with the Polyworks guru himself, Connor. Now, Connor, welcome to the MTD Technical Corner. How are you, all right? Yes, I'm good. Not sure I'd class myself as that just yet. <laughs> well, that's what I've been in, uh, you know, informed. <laughs> um, now, Connor, the Freedom Arm and the Freedom Indexing Table. Um, it looks a very impressive piece of technology, but how does it work? What does it do? So the arm itself, uh, arms have been around uh, a bit of time now, um, but they're getting now more and more accurate uh, and scanners, especially on them, are becoming more and more popular, mainly because of the speed uh, and accuracy of them. Um, they allow you to be able to measure uh, more freeform parts quicker uh, and easier uh, and as well be able to just check more features uh, on them. Could the, you also check prismatic, pot, pr prismatic parts such as this? Yeah, 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 of course. And you also then have a probe on the end of it as well. So you can tactile probe it like you would with a, a standard CMM as well. So effectively this piece of equipment, would you see this kind of equipment on a shop floor? Yes, yeah. I mean, arms now are designed for uh, shop floor use. They're all temperature compensated and uh, they're all dust proof. So you can really mount them anywhere and they're good to go. And they're you're saying free form parts. So effectively, you can check any parts internally and externally. And we'd be seeing a little bit of this in the, in, in the demonstration that's coming up. Yes. Yeah, yeah, so anything at all, as long as you scan it, you can, you can measure it. And what's the purpose of the freedom indexing table? Um, you know, I've seen scanners maybe in the past, but not, with, well, but without a indexing table. Yes, well, the, the main idea of the turntable here is to give you more flexibility to go along with your arm. So it's just more of a complete solution. Um, so you can put your part onto it, uh, you have locator markers, so if you did want a repeatable process, you can you know, have your process to say, yeah, mount your part in this location, rotate it 90 degrees, relock it off again, and you know, continue measuring your part. So I would assume you get better accessibility to all sides of the part? Yes, and I think that's why we've, we've chose a part like this, because uh, to try and measure that in one location with the arm is quite difficult to get around. So ergonomically, you'd really struggle with the likes of this. So effectively creating a stable process. Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. You're, doing, you're doing multiple things really at the same time here. Now you've set this, this demo up and, and, and you know, please hold on, it's coming shortly. But you've set this demo up and, and, and effectively you've, you've, you've mounted the Freedom Arm in one position and the, the indexing table in another position. How do, they, how do you know where both of them are when you, you know, in, in real life? So what we'll do is, uh, I mean, if we were using this for inspection, we will align to our CAD model. Uh, and then the only thing that we're doing after that is telling it as I move the turntable, uh, I will then tell Polyworks uh, how much we've turned by uh, re-indexing uh, by, or by reprobing the, uh, the pattern of holes that are already in the place. Ah, so that is setting the datums. Yes, but your master datums will come from your CAD model. So Connor, show us how it all works. Perfect. Perfect. So we're going to open up our Polyworks software. Uh, initially, what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell the software uh, where the turntable is. So what I'm going to do is just reference minimum of three points um, that are already on the plate. So I'm going to op open up the LK macro that we've created and I'm just going to go to initial setup. Okay. That then prompts me to pick up my arm and measure those points. So again, minimum of three. Okay, and then we click finish. So that's effectively setting the reference points as, as like a data point, so it knows where it is. Exactly, exactly. So if I was to scan now, so I'm gonna just hit scan in Polyworks and start scan. Put scanner on the part Wow, how many points is it taking per second, Connor? So this particular scanner will take up to half a million points per wow. second. So we can really, that's... And is it the Polyworks to... software that's processing all this information? Yes, yes. So that will give me errors like what we see on screen here, where we can see a light blue area. That is informing me that I've actually not got 
as accurate of a scan as, as I could have done. Whereas if I come 90 degree to that area, I'm scanning it much more accurately and that light blue area has now disappeared. Okay, so I think that's why scanners now are becoming much more popular uh, because of the speed and accuracy that is being produced from them. Well, that's amazing. That is as quickly, it can be done as quickly as that. Yeah, they're getting uh, they're getting good now. All and right. Can you give me an in indication of how the indexing table works and how you can measure the thickness of a part such as this? Yes. So I've already referenced it. I've done my first initial scan. So what I'm going to do now is unlock the table and simply turn their part around. So what would have been a bit more of a struggle previously of uh, getting myself into this position to scan the inside of my part, I can simply hit additional rotation so any rotation after or from 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 when you rotate you then re lock yourself in and again measure minimum of three points they don't need to be the same as your initial points so if you can't reach those points anymore that isn't a problem so we will do five in this case finish that and why not the same points, Connor? Is it just knows where it is? Yeah, so there's a calibration file that goes along with this place so that Polyworks already knows where those points are. Perfect. So when so you it makes it a lot easier, really, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, well, you, don't re you really don't need to be uh, measuring the same area of the table the next time around. So it makes it foolproof, really, to a certain degree. Yes, yeah, you can't really go, go wrong. So now you can see on screen that we are now scanning the inside of the part so if we wanted to now measure the thickness, it's a very easy step. Well, I'm, I'm flabbergasted with how fast this is. It's just phenomenal. And, and, and how quickly would then this, you know, give you the, you know, the actual size of what you've scanned? Well, I mean, uh, after you've measured it or scanned it or probed it or however you want to measure it, it's then up to you what you do with it. So whether you want to reverse engineer it, whether you want to bring in a CAD model and check it to CAD, whether you want to, in this case, check the thickness of it, then what you can do is just, you know, the software will do it in a matter of seconds then after So you've that. got lots of options. So you've got, you know, comparisons, yeah. inspection. And if you were just doing an out and out inspection, what kind of tolerances would you expect? Uh, well, out of this arm, uh, we are looking at, from scanning, you're looking at about 30, 50 micron. Okay. You can go lower with the probe uh, and also it'll depend on the size of your arm. Connor, it's been a really insightful demo. We hope you've enjoyed it from the guru himself, Connor from Polyworks, the Freedom Arm from Alk Metrology and the Freedom Indexing Table. If this is a solution that would lend itself to your manufacturing facility, contact Alk Metrology. Mm -hmm.